What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Nicki Minaj started teasing some new music and it turned out to be three new songs. So any Nicki Minaj fan was satisfied last night getting three new songs. Instead of reviewing all three, I just want to talk about the one that everyone is focused on. No frauds. This is Nicki Minaj's official response to Remy Ma. And on the other record, uh, Changed It, featuring Lil Wayne, she kind of threw a little bit more shots. But this is the one where she's focused on, uh, you know, responding to Remy. And on this record, she also brings along Drake and Lil Wayne, which is pretty cool. Considering that Drake and Nicki had their issues, I mean, it boils down to the whole Nicki and, and Meek Mill dating and all that. You don't want to... Uh, be around people that are around your enemies. Nonetheless, uh, they reconciled. They were able to, you know, get past their differences and, and come together again as a, a three-headed monster. First things first, you have to applaud Nicki Minaj for her business plan with no frauds. She went the Drake route. Instead of giving a diss record, she decided that she was going to put a potential hit single with shades of a diss included. Nicki is doing what Remy Ma failed to do with another one, and that's create a potential hit single that will be everywhere. And that's kind of crazy that, like, with, like, the biggest artists, you know, Drake and Nicki Minaj, like, that's what beef has come to. Beef is no longer about sharpening your lyrical sword. It's about taking a few jabs at a person on a song that ends up everywhere. And I'm not saying that this record is uh, an undeniable hit, but she's definitely going to collect her coins off of this. A lot of people are going to buy it on iTunes. They're going to stream it on Spotify and Apple Music. So she's going to make a lot of money just based off of this song being uh, available to buy. And it'll probably get some radio spins as well, especially because it has the, the lines about Remy Ma. And radio is all about trying to get ratings and get people to tune in. So they're going to hype it up. And Nicki Minaj is pretty much one with this formula. Not one the beef, but one using this formula. As far as the shots on No Frauds go, they're decent. There's no lines that make me go, wow. Like she didn't really take it there. She just threw a, a couple jabs here and there. I think the, the hardest hitting line on there was, uh, what type of bum bitch shoot a friend over a stack? Like, Remy Ma, you know, went to prison because of that. And obviously, it, it's a lot more complicated than that, but it's, it's a hard hitting line nonetheless. And I did chuckle when she said, uh, back to back, oh, you mean back to whack, back to back, me and Drizzy laughed at that. Like, that's a good line. It, it, it takes the fact that Remy Ma tried with another one and failed and it came back to bite her because Nicki had that ammo ready. So that was a good line. Nicki knows that she can't go bar for bar with Remy Ma. So she's not even going to try. And I also feel like that might have been the case with uh, Drake and Meek Mill. Meek Mill, in my opinion, is a little more lyrical than Drake. He just didn't get a chance to really showcase it. So that's why I feel like Drake might have went that hit single route. And so Nicki is trying to do that as well because she knows that she can come out on top in this generation because nobody is going to play a seven-minute diss track on the radio or in the club, especially one that's over ether. As I mentioned earlier, Drake and Lil Wayne are also on the record, but they don't really add nothing uh, of value, nothing special. Uh, Drake's verse is alright, and then Lil Wayne's is forgettable. He really doesn't say anything good. It's just one of those verses where he just kind of coasts on through, and then the song's over. So there's a couple questions I want to ask and answer to wrap up this review. The first is, do I think Remy Ma is going to respond to this? I think that is a, a question that doesn't have a clear answer. Recently, Remy Ma did an interview where she was talking about how she doesn't regret making the song, making like the, uh, the diss to Nicki Minaj, but she hated how viral it went, how much attention it got. And I, I was always confused by that because the whole intention of putting this diss out was to get that attention. And so I don't think it resulted in what Remy Ma wanted it to result in. 
So she was kind of, you know, saying that and feeling that way. Nonetheless, though, I, I can't call it if she's going to respond. Again, this is Nicki Minaj throwing a couple light jabs. And then Remy Ma also saying that she's kind of past this, that she wants to be more about empowering women. And I'm all for that. But when you do hear people taking shots at you, it's hard not to, to respond. It's hard to turn the other cheek. So it's up in the air. I don't have a, an actual answer for if Remy Ma will respond to this. It just depends on how she listens to this song, if she's still in that mindset, if she's willing to go another round, which I'm certainly sure she would be. So I don't, I don't have uh, one answer for that. The other question is, who is winning this beef so far? Uh, I'm going with Remy Ma. Just because uh, I'm going to judge it off of the old way. Off of you being lyrical. And Remy Ma on Sheether was so incredible and lyrical. And there's nothing that Nicki can say on this song, No Frauds, that rivals that. Then again, it's kind of hard to compare because we're judging off of two different scales now. Remy taking that old route of, of going in on someone in a rap beef and Nicki Minaj kind of adopting that new style of, oh, I'm big enough to come out with a hit single and throw a couple jabs so I would automatically win. And I don't like judging that way. I know there's people that out there that will judge that way, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm giving it to Remy Ma so far, even including the fact that she put out that awful Another One record. But I think Sheether made up for it. Or not made up for it, but kind of eclipses another one. To where I'm not going to uh, not give props to Sheether because she dropped another one. So now I'm curious what you think. What did you think of No Frauds as a record? Do you think this is a hit single? What did you think about Nicki's jabs? Do you think Remy Ma will end up responding to this? And lastly... Who's winning this beef so far, Remy Ma or Nicki Minaj? Let me know in the comment section below, then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter, at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.